Hello, everyone. 欢迎来到汉桥中文 Welcome to Hambridge Mandarin. Today, I'm going to introduce five games to practice Chinese for kids or adults. These games can be easily played at home, during gatherings, or even online. Given so many people are under quarantine for the time being, these games include vocabulary game, sentence building game, description games, and pronunciation games. The first game is a vocabulary game called 有什么 What's in there? This game is even very popular for native Chinese people in reality shows. 来了，动物园里有什么？有狮子、蜘蛛、小猪佩奇。<笑>花园里面有什么 ？Daily stuff in the supermarket. 超市里面有什么 ？Colors in the rainbow. 彩虹里面有什么 ？The next vocabulary game is 你画我猜 Pictionary. I believe a lot of people are very familiar with this game. Basically, one person draws a picture and another person guesses what it is. For beginner Chinese learners. I suggest you focus on a set of vocabulary list to narrow the range. For instance, we just learned ten vocabulary items today in the class. Then we can play this game choosing words from the ten vocabulary items. Next one is a sentence building game. You can pull down each character, opinion, or each word on one sticky note, and then ask your kid or another person to put them together to build a sentence correctly. It's a good way to practice sentence structure and word order. The description game I'm gonna introduce is 谁是卧底 Who is the spy? It's also a very popular game for native speakers. It's suitable for intermediate or advanced learners. In this game, everyone gets a card with a word, but there's one card with a different word, named the spy card. If you get the spy card, you are the spy. Everyone needs to use a word or a phrase to describe your card in turns without saying out the word directly. The interesting part of the game is you actually don't know whether you are a spy or not, but you can sort of tell your identity through other people's descriptions. After everyone's describing, each one points out a person that you think might be a spy. The game continues until the spy is found out. For this game, the normal card and spy card should have similar meanings or in one category, like 包子 and 饺子 bun and dumpling, 手 and 脚 hand and foot. The next game is a dubbing game. I recommend you do it on the app 配音秀 This video is not sponsored by the app, but I found it a really good app for doing dubbing for short scenes from movies, animations, or comedy clips. You can upload your dubbing works or watch other people's works. Dubbing is a good way to practice copying how a native Chinese people speak. These are really fun games to practice Chinese. What if you do not have much time, or do not know much Chinese to play these games with your kids, or you cannot find a peer to play these games with? Good news! You can come to Hambridge Mandarin Online Summer Camp. You can have an immersive Chinese learning experience, learn about Chinese culture and social trends in modern China, and even talk about them with native Chinese kids at the same age. If you want to know more about the online summer camp program, check out the link in the description box. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed our video today. Don't forget to subscribe our channel to get more Chinese learning content. Okay, see you next time. 再见 Thank you.